Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to do custom instance segmentation using YOLO V8. I'm going to explain how to annotate custom dataset for instance segmentation and then how to convert it into YOLO V8 format. Then we will train the segmentation model and run inferencing on images, videos and webcam. I will also show you how you can export the model to other formats such as ONNX and TF Lite. The timestamps are in the description below. Let's get started. It's always a good idea to create a virtual environment for your project, so let's do that. I am on Anaconda, so I am going to issue the command conda create minus n yolo v8 underscore segmentation and python equals 3.10. Hit enter, press y, hit enter again. Once the installation is done, let's activate the environment by command conda activate yolo v8 underscore segmentation. That's it, the environment is activated. Now we need images of our object to annotate. I have downloaded images of butterflies from Google. If you do not want to do it manually, you can follow these timestamps of this tutorial to write a small script for downloading the images from Google automatically. All right. To annotate the segmentation masks, we need to install a library by command pip install label me. And once the installation is done, just type label me and hit enter. It's going to open this GUI. Go to file and click on open DIR. It's this directory with all the images of our object. Select that. Then again, go to file and click on change output DIR. It's the folder in which the annotations should be stored. Select the same folder, then click on file and select save automatically. Now to create a segmentation mask, click on create polygons and then draw a polygon around the object as precisely as possible. I'm just going to do it quickly for this demonstration. Once you are done, type a label for that polygon, which is butterfly in our case. Now click on next image and repeat this process. You should do this for all of the images and it's going to take a lot of time. Luckily, I do not have to do this because there is an annotated data set of butterflies available at PixelLib GitHub repository. So all the credits to the original author. If we go to releases and then scroll down and then expand this assets of nature section, here we have nature.zip. Let's download it and then extract this zip file. You will see there are two folders, train and test. Each image has its corresponding label in a JSON format. This dataset has two classes, butterfly and squirrel. I'm just going to keep the images and annotations of butterflies and going to delete all other images and their annotations. Then in test folder, repeat this process and only keep images and annotations of butterflies. Then create a new folder called dataset and move both train and test folders there. The images that I have annotated, I'm going to move them along with their annotations to the train folder. Then we can delete nature.zip and nature folder. The dataset is ready, but it's not in YOLO format yet. To convert it into a format that YOLO V8 understands, we need to install another library by command pip install label me to YOLO. Once installation is complete, issue the command label me to YOLO minus minus JSON underscore DIR and then path to our train directory, which is dataset slash train. Hit enter and it will convert all JSON files to YOLO V8 TXT format. If we go to our dataset and then train folder, we can see a subfolder that is called YOLO V8 dataset. Let's cut this and move to the root folder. Inside this folder, we have images and labels placed separately along with dataset.yml. Let's leave this file alone for now as we are going to come back to it later. Inside images, we have train and val folders separated, but we do not want that. So let's just merge the images of these two folders. So move all the images inside val to the main directory and then all the images inside train also go to the main directory. Now we can delete these three empty folders. Similarly, go to labels directory and you will see train and val splits here. Just move all txt files from train and val folders to the main directory. Now let's rename YOLO dataset folder to train. Now back to Anaconda prompt. Issue same command, but this time the target directory is dataset slash test. And if we hit enter, all JSON annotations will be converted to YOLO annotations. 
Now if we go to dataset and test folder, here you will see the same output as before. And you guessed it, we need to bring it to the root directory of our project alongside train directory. If we open it, we can see images and labels subfolder along with dataset.yml file. Inside images directory, we have train and val folders. We have to merge all the images of val and train folders just like we did earlier. And then we can delete these empty directories. Same goes for the labels folder as well. Now we rename this YOLO dataset folder to test. Now we can delete dataset and butterfly directories. Once that is done, just cut dataset.yml file from either train or test folders and bring it to the root directory of our project. I'm gonna move it from train folder. So let's open this file in your favorite text editor and you will see a bunch of paths along with the total number of classes, which is correctly mentioned as one and its respective class name. For train path, we need to provide full path of our train folder. So I'm just gonna copy this path from here and paste in the file, then add train folder to it. Do the same for val data. We are just going to use test folder as our validation data. Then remove the test path from here, save the file and we have our data set ready. Now to train YOLO v8 custom instance segmentation model, install another library by command pip install ultralytics. It's going to download and install all the dependencies required to run YOLO v8. But by default, it installs PyTorch with CPU support only. We can verify that by running Python, then import torch and issue command torch.cuda.is underscore available. And it prints false. We can also verify the version by command torch dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and it's 1.13.1 CPU version. We're going to install the same version but with GPU support as I do have NVIDIA GPU. So head over to the official PyTorch website, click on get started, scroll down, select version, then operating system which is Windows in my case, then pip, then Python and CUDA 11.7 which is the latest version. Now copy this command from here and paste it in the Anaconda prompt. Add another parameter minus minus upgrade here and hit enter. It's going to download and install GPU version of PyTorch and previous CPU version will be uninstalled automatically. After installation is done, run Python import torch. And now if we issue the command torch.cuda.is underscore available, it's going to print true. And we can also see that installed version is 1.13.1 with CUDA 11.7. Now to train the instance segmentation model on this custom data, run the command YOLO task equals segment model equals train epochs. Let's do training for 100 epochs. Then data, which is this file dataset.yml and then model equals now let's head to the official Ultralytics GitHub repository and scroll down to segmentation section. Expand that. You can choose any model from here. I'm going to copy the link of medium model, paste it somewhere and just copy the file name from here. Then paste it in the command. Now add another parameter IMGSZ, which is the image size on which the model was trained. We can see on the official repository that it's 640. So mention that here. And finally batch equals, you can mention small batch sizes if you have a GPU with less memory. I think I can use eight. So let's start with that. Here the training is started. I will get back to you when it is done. All right, the training is done. It took 4.3 hours to train and output is stored in runs folder. So let's head to runs segment and then train folder. You can see all the metrics here and if you open results.png, we can see the graphs of the training but what we are really interested in is the weights file. So go to weights folder and we are just going to copy best.pt and head back to our main project folder, paste the file here. I'm going to rename this file to yolo v8 m-seg dash custom.pt. 
Now we can use this model for inferencing. For that, let's take an image from test folder and paste here. I'm going to rename it to 1.png for convenience. I also have a video called butterfly.mp4 that I'm copying here. Now create an empty text file and rename it to predict.py. Open it in any text editor. Then from Ultralytics, import YOLO. Now initialize YOLO class as model with the custom segmentation model file name. Now we can call model.predict method. As a source, let's use our 1.png image. Then set show equals to true, save equals true, hide underscore labels equals false, hide underscore conf equals false, conf equals 0 0.5, save underscore txt equals false, then save underscore crop equals false, finally line underscore thickness equals 2. That's how our whole command looks like. Now save this file and let's head back to anaconda prompt and issue command python predict.py. It's going to produce output in runs, segment and then predict folder. And here we can see the output. Now if you do not like the labels and confidence scores, you can set hide underscore labels and hide underscore conf as true. And this time if we run the script, we are going to get the output without labels or confidences. Let's set hide underscore labels and hide underscore conf back to false and now set save underscore txt and save underscore crop to true. Run the script again and now you will see that the output also has this text file which contains the polygons labels as YOLO v8 format. And in crops folder we have the object cropped out. They fixed the bounding box showing on the cropped object which is great to see. Let's change the save underscore crop and save underscore txt back to false. Now if you want to hide the bounding box and only want to show the mask on the output, you can use parameter box equals false. But right now it's not working as intended. Maybe it will be updated in the future versions. So let me know in the comments when it happens. Then we have another parameter visualize equals true, which is used for visualization of features, but this is also not implemented yet as you can see by the message here. So maybe this will be added in the future versions as well. Let's set visualize back to false and box equals to true. Now to run this custom model on videos, just change the source to your video. I'm using butterfly.mp4. Now save the file and run the script again. This time it will run custom instance segmentation on video. The output is also stored in runs slash segment and predict folder just like in the case of image. Now if you want to run this custom model on webcam, just change the source to zero to use internal webcam and it works just fine. Finally, let me show you how you can export the model to other formats. So let's comment this line, add another line here, model.export and then mention the format equals ONNX. If we run this script, it will install ONNX and will export the model, which you can see over here. Similarly, you can also convert to TF Lite by mentioning TF Lite here. If you run the script, it will install TensorFlow and then export the model to TF Lite. You can visit official documentation which lists all the formats that you can use for exporting the custom model. With that, I think I am done. If you have learned something of value today, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Consider a support on Patreon to help the channel out. I will see you next time.